Hello guys, welcome to Silver Screen Recap Hub. Today I will show you the recap of the movie called Red Notice, released in 2021. The film opens with a brief story on the tale of Cleopatra and Mark Antony. On their wedding day, he presented her with three golden bejeweled eggs as a symbol of his love for her. After their deaths, the eggs were hidden for centuries and believed to be mere myths, but two of the eggs were later unearthed by a farmer, while the third remained hidden in secrecy. In the present day, someone is working on a replica of one of the eggs. Rome, Special Agent John Hartley, Dwayne Johnson, joins Interpol Inspector Das, Ritu Arya, at a museum on the hunt for wanted art thief Nolan Booth, Ryan Reynolds, after being given information by a source known only as the Bishop. They speak to the museum director as he leads them to one of Cleopatra's eggs on display before a crowd of tourists. Hartley does a thermal reading of the egg, and then uses a kid's can of coke to reveal that the egg on display is a fake, and someone else is in possession of the real one. As Doss orders the place to be locked down, Booth pops out of the crowd and makes a run for it with the egg. Guards chase him but he loses them by climbing scaffolding and causing it to collapse. Hartley corners Booth, with them both falling out a window, and Booth manages to go down a slide and run into town. He rides off on a motorcycle, but as Hartley tries to chase him in a car, he gets T-boned by a gelato truck, and Booth gets away. Days later in Bali, Hartley finds Booth in his home and brings out the agents to arrest him and secure the egg. As the team takes Booth away, one agent, Gal Gadot, switches out the egg for a fake one. Hartley goes back to Rome where he is found in a bar by Doss. She shows him the egg that was replaced after shattering it on the floor. Doss also notes that an $8 million wire transfer was sent to a Swiss bank account in Hartley's name, leading her to believe that he was involved in the egg's robbery. Although he insists he is innocent, Doss is Hartley arrested. Hartley is sent to a Russian prison where he finds that Booth is his cellmate. Hartley deduces that he was set up by the bishop. Booth informs him that whoever is in possession of the three eggs must deliver them to an Egyptian billionaire by the eve of his daughter's wedding for a payment of $300 million. The men know that the second egg is in the possession of an international arms dealer known as Sato Voce, Chris Diamantopoulos, and a chance to swipe the egg from him would be during one of his famous parties. Moments later, Booth draws attention to them by yelling out to the whole cafeteria that Hartley is not a cop. This prompts a large inmate, Drago Grand, Daniel Bernhardt, to stand up and challenge Hartley. Although he tells him he doesn't want trouble, Drago knocks Hartley on his ass in front of everyone before guards bring him and Booth back to their cell. The guys are brought to meet the bishop face to face, and she turns out to be the undercover agent who swapped out the eggs. She says that she transferred money to an account under Hartley's name, and also that she has been one step ahead of Booth to become the world's number one art thief. Bishop says she knows that Booth knows where the location of the third egg is and will let him out of there with a 10% cut, but he refuses to tell her anything. She orders the guards to put Hartley and Booth in hard labor. While trying to come up with a plan to clear his name, Hartley makes the most of his time having to work with Booth. In their cell, Hartley asks Booth about his father, because he knew that Booth's dad was a Swiss police captain, so he wonders how that man's son would go on to become a criminal. Booth says that his dad was a jerk who cared more about his work than he did his own son. When he believed that Booth lost a beloved watch of his, the man didn't talk to him for a year until he discovered it was hidden behind some paperwork. The guys enact their plan when Booth throws a bar of soap into a cleaning solution and throws it into a machine to create an explosion. In the ensuing chaos, the men fight off the guards before making their way to a chopper using a badge Booth swiped off a guard when Drago attacked Hartley. Booth makes it onto the chopper while Hartley runs across the bridge as the guards blow it up. As Hartley tries to climb up the bridge, Booth fires the chopper's machine guns at the guards. He starts flying away until Hartley manages to climb up and jump into the chopper. The guards attempt to fire a missile at them, but Hartley manages to have it fly through the chopper and hit a mountain instead. They then make their getaway. The bishop is keeping an agent captive in his office until she uses his computer to send a decrypted message to Doss to inform her that Hartley and Booth are on the loose, as well as an invitation to Sato Voce's party. The agent trips an alarm, but the responding agent is knocked out by Bishop. She threatens the first agent to tell a lie about what happened or she will get to his loved ones and reveal his darkest secrets to them. Booth gets help from a contact, Tamwi, Ivan Bakop to pick him and Hartley up and take them on a plane to Sato Voce's place in Valencia. Booth comes up with a plan to get into Voce's safe, which only opens with his thumbprint and facial recognition software, which Booth is prepared for with his own tech. The guys show up at the party, which is a masquerade ball, 
so they can get by undetected. Bishop is there already, so Hartley dances with her to avoid drawing negative attention. Sato Voce spots them and decides to cut in out of jealousy. Booth swipes a glass containing Voce's thumbprint before he and Hartley make their way to his safe. After some clumsiness, the two find the safe but are found by Doss, who holds a gun to them and orders Hartley to arrest Booth if he really is on the side of the law. Hartley disarms Doss before he and Booth get inside the safe and lock it. Bishop has somehow already made her way inside and fights the men for the egg until Voce comes in. Her turns out to be in league with Bishop, and they have Hartley and Booth knocked out and taken captive. Bishop interrogates Hartley with electric cables for the whereabouts of the third egg. When Voce nearly strangles Hartley, Booth relents and says that the egg is in a pyramid in Cairo. When it looks like Voce and Bishop are about to head off together, he collapses after she spiked his drink, leaving her to get away. Voce comes to moments later but has his vision impaired. He fires wildly at Hartley and Booth, and they become freed from their cuffs. The guys try to escape, but end up in the bullfighting arena outside. Hartley gets knocked around a couple of times, and Voce tries to shoot at them again, but he is knocked out by the bull before the guys flee. The two make it onto a train, where Booth admits he lied about the third egg's location. Hartley nearly throws him off the train until he relents and pulls him back in. He then tells Booth about his father, who was a con man that just disappeared from his life when he was 13. Booth then tells Hartley a little history about the third egg. It was recovered by a Nazi art collector named Rudolf Zeich, and after stashing away all the stolen Nazi artifacts, the egg remained hidden. Booth later found out that the watch that his father loved so much was actually a key to finding the safe where the egg is kept. The guys go to Argentina, where they find a passageway to a huge vault containing loads of stolen artifacts. After they find the egg, Bishop arrives, along with Doss and her team of agents. A shootout ensues, which leads to a chase through the caves and old cars. Bishop and Doss struggle for the egg during the chase, but Booth manages to get it back. The three ride their car out of the cave and over a waterfall. Booth grabs the egg and starts to leave, but he can't find Hartley. Not wanting to let him die, Booth attempts to go into the water to save him, but he turns out to be fine. Bishop swims to shore, but when it looks like Hartley is about to arrest her, they instead kiss. They then reveal that Hartley was working with Bishop the whole time, as they are a couple who have been planning the egg heist from the beginning and used Booth to lead them to the third egg. They leave him cuffed to a tree before making their getaway. Hartley and Bishop go to Cairo where the billionaire is hosting his daughter's wedding, presenting her not only with the three eggs, but also a special musical performance from Ed Sheeran. Doss and her agents crash the party and arrest the billionaire, and Ed because he tried to fight guards, while Hartley and Bishop get away quietly, their payment already secured. The couple are on a boat when they are found by Booth. He informs them that he tipped off Doss about the couple's scheme, and she has their whole $300 million steal frozen in their accounts. Booth offers them a chance to team up with him on another bigger score, or he will leave them to be arrested. Hartley and Bishop reluctantly agree. Doss and her agents arrive too late and find neither of them. She goes back to her office and issues a red notice on all three criminals. The trio then arrive in Paris at the location of their next big score, the Louvre. If you enjoy this movie and are willing to see more, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel with bell notifications on so you never miss our future video, and until next time, thank you for watching. Take care and stay healthy.